I got a few responses yesterday saying that uh, they wanted to see how I did some of the beach waves that uh, I posted on Instagram. So uh, my first video, kind of excited about it and really nervous, so just bear with me. Hair is still wet, so I'm going to dry it, but before I dry it, I'm going to be using this uh, hair shield, so it's a heat protector. So this one here is by Davinus, and it's just gonna go on um, on my hair here and it's just to protect it from the heat uh, from when I blow dry it so now that that's in um, I'm just gonna give my hair a brush and I use the knot doctor I got it for a Christmas present and it was actually really one of the best brushes I've ever had and if you do get tangles in your hair it really does remove those knots so I got this new blow dryer. It's a comb with a blow dryer built in, which is really neat. Um, so if you're if I'm going more for a blow dried look, I will suction my hair. But given I'm just looking for a quick blow dryer, I'm just gonna brush it through, uh, and it really takes only a couple minutes for it to dry, especially with my hair being so short. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and blow dry it now. Okay, so I finished blow drying my hair. I'm just giving it a quick comb through. Um, I'm going to spray the heat protector on just one more time. So you can, the great thing about this product is that you can spray it on uh, damp hair or dry hair. So, so. I am going to be using um, a straightener to accomplish those beach wave curls that I had uh, posted. So I'm just letting this heat up and my hair is quite thick so I am going to go with a higher uh, heat setting and this straightener actually goes from 140 uh, degrees Fahrenheit to 450. So I'm going to probably pick around 430 for um, my hair. So I'm just going to give it a second to heat up and I'm going to be sectioning my hair. So just showing you from the front here. So I would come underneath and then I flip my iron just back and forth. And so, as you can see, it kind of gives it that nice little back and forth wave. And I'm just working with about one inch pieces. You can make them as big or as small as you want. It really just does depend on the strength of your straightener too. And then when you get to the ends, just don't curl them under, don't curl them too far forward uh, because you want to give them more of a straight edge look. Let's go to the beach, make we have a party on the sun, girl. Take off your up, me want to see you now your tongue. But suppose, make me use my touch, snap one. Now pretty belly skin, they're ready to do the fun. You are generating brown in all of summertime. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the top. So I'm going to just take some time showing a bit more, or explaining a little bit more as to what I'm doing. And so when I grab hold of the hair, I'm just going underneath and I'm doing it slowly. I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to flatten them and pull it all the way down. You get a little bit of that pull down, but that's fine. Make that a bit smaller there. And then just flip flipping back and forth. So you can see completed the beach look with the straightener and I'm gonna finish it off with this uh, Davinus texturizing spray 
Um, so it's the Davinus and that's the texturizing screen. Oops, I guess I gotta flip it the right side. But it's my favorite. I've been using it for years. Um, and so I'm just gonna give it a little shake and I'm just gonna flip my hair and I'm gonna just give it a few pumps. So you wanna be a little bit further away from it. And I'm just bunching my curls up so that the texturizing spray can get just kind of all over. There we go. And that's how you do a beach wave look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, feel free to give me a message and I will, uh, will reply soon.